Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be talking about a runaway Chinese space station that is falling to Earth. We've been tracking this since, oh, late last year. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll be updating you daily on what we know about this Chinese runaway space station and what's going to be happening. Today in the New York Post, um, an article was written by Zach Epstein, the BGR there. And, he, and at the end of the video, I'll actually show you some pictures of what I'm, I'm speaking of. There's an image showing the trail behind the Tangon 1 spacecraft as it makes its way through the Earth's atmosphere, seen through the urban area of Rome. It basically looks like a streak across the sky as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Now, this article, I believe, was originally published by the BGR. Um, I haven't heard Neil deGrasse Tyson's um, take on this on this particular article yet or, or this event that's going to be happening. But I am going to talk about the event and let you guys know what's happening. The Tangon 1 Chinese space station has been widely covered over the past few months, but it's not the typical type of coverage astronomers want when discussing a space station. Back in October, China admitted that it had completely lost control of the Tangon 1 space station. Having no way to steer the spacecraft in orbit around our planet is obviously a bad thing. And officials from China's space program said that the space station would eventually come crashing back to Earth. Some rough estimates were given at the time, but further analysis by the European Space Agency, that's the ESA in case you guys don't know, determined that the Tangon 1 space station would likely smash back to Earth somewhere between March 24th and April 19th. It's now mid-March, which seems we're now perilously close to seeing the space station inevitably demise. In fact, the most recent estimates suggest that the impact is most likely to occur in late March as opposed to early April. Now, Tangon 1 has been photographed as it makes its way through the space and back down to Earth. First, the good news is believe that the Tangon 1 space station, whose name ironically translates to heavenly place, will be burned up almost entirely by the Earth's atmosphere as it barrels back down towards the planet's surface. This is especially good news because of all the toxic chemicals that the rocket fuel aboard the space station. The bad news, however, is whatever pieces of Tangon 1 do make it through our atmosphere will come crashing down somewhere in the northern hemisphere. It's still unclear exactly where the space station will crash, but estimates include the northern United States, parts of Spain, Portugal, Greece, China, and the Middle East, and some other countries. The ESA and other space stations have warned that people in the area where Tangon 1 makes an impact should avoid any wreckage just in case the toxic material survived the fall. As agencies continue to monitor the out-of-control space station path, astronomer Ginaloa Masia has managed to photograph the Tangon 1 as it tumbles towards Earth. Masia, who is the virtual telescope project, oh, excuse me, who is with the virtual telescope project, managed to capture the craft as it passed through Earth in some well-known constellations. And the resulting image was posted on the viral telescope Project's blog over the weekend. And I will be using that picture towards the end of the illustration of the Tangon 1 Space Lab module that's here that you see. It's just an illustration from AP as far as I know. I'm using it under fair, um, fair use. As agencies continue to monitor this out of control space station, astronomer um, oops, sorry about that. Let's keep going. The image above, which you can click on the image, shows a small streak in the skies above Rome, Italy. Massey explains exactly how he captured the photo in his post on the organization's blog and will definitely suggest giving it a quick read. 
I um, have YouTubers all over the world. We will be uh, live streaming this event here on my channel and several others simultaneously as this event happens. You will be able to see it live streamed. Um, earlier predictions were it's going to be landing in southern Michigan. Once again, this is a prediction. It's not an exact science, but uh, we are tracking. There's several of us involved in this. We are tracking the satellite. We are checking to see where it's going to happen. Now, like I said, we have we have YouTubers basically who who basically are helping with this this information from Australia to Canada, the United States, different parts of of, of these countries and, and other countries. We're all involved in, in basically getting this story out to the people, let them know where it's going to be. Now, once it comes across, it will be spread several miles apart in debris. So it can, it, it can affect more than just one area. So if we say southern Michigan, <laughs> that's where the early estimates were given that they would be crashing. We have Dark Matter on, uh, on live. Um, he's there in Michigan. He's on standby. He's ready to film. He's been watching. He's been keeping updates with it. He wants to know what's happening with the Tangon One space station as, as much as we do because this is something that's going to affect his community where he lives. We have other YouTubers in that area, and we should have some pretty clear footage depending on the weather, <clears throat> if it's a night or if it's day. Um, early estimates, we're, we're, getting, we're getting information from several different um, space stations and, and Astronomers, we're, we're tracking this from every possible angle. Like I said, we're using the European Space Station Agency, the ESA. We're using NASA. We're using several different different things. We're actually using a um, <laughs> basically a, a, an app that, that tracks space junk. <laughs> and I hate to use the word space junk, but we're using a lot of different resources that are available to us to find out you know, where this satellite is, where it's at in real time, and we've been watching that constantly daily this is the first video that we decided to make about it to put it up and publish it because of the timing because it's going to be happening soon from the washington post basically they're, they're telling you march 24th through april 19th um original estimates you know from a month ago we're, we're predicting april 1st which would have been horrific to try to tell people hey look there's a space station you know, a Chinese space station is out of control. It's going to be crashing Earth. You try to tell them that on April Fool's Day, April 1st, on Easter, <laughs> especially April Fool's Day, no one's going to believe you. But uh, as, it, as it makes its way back to Earth, and uh, you are available, we will keep you updated. Like I said, we will be live streaming it. We will simultaneously have this posted on different YouTube sites. I will leave a link to Dark Matter's website below, or his actual YouTube channel, and I hope I hope that you guys follow us along. This is going to be an interesting story, and uh, every day we will be updating what we know and where we're at. Maybe we even we'll put even some clips in of uh, where it's at in that time frame, and we'll we'll and that way you can guys kind of get an idea. We'll we'll send some maybe some some links if we're able to post those here on YouTube, so that you can track the website also. But I hope you follow us along for this, uh, this celestial event. Anyway, this is Rebel State Sovereign signing out. Thank you so much for joining. Much love.